Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I want to go over iOS 14, Developer Beta 4, and Public Beta 4, and let you guys know how it's been for me and what I think of this update. Now, first off, I just want to tell you guys real quick, this update has two major flaws, and that's what I'm going to primarily be going over in this video. Towards the end, I'm going to talk about performance and battery life, uh, but let's get through these two major issues first. So first of all, this has been an issue in every single beta so far, uh, for iOS 14, and that is iMessage. When you are trying to enter iMessage, occasionally it will hang and not load. So basically what will happen is I will click on the iMessage or even just a text message, and as soon as I do that, it will try to bring me into the iMessage application, but it will just be a blank screen, and I'll wait for like 45 plus seconds, and eventually it'll either crash or load. Then when I open it up again, it works if it did crash. Super annoying, and there's really no workaround for it besides kill the application, wait 10 seconds and go back in. Uh, that's a little bit quicker than waiting 40 seconds, but that's a big one. I've also heard other people having issues just being able to type in iMessage. So they'll open it up, try to reply to someone and it won't let you type. That's another issue. Now the second issue actually just started with this beta. And it's kind of surprising to me because everything else is seeming to be more polished in these betas, but this just got way worse and it's a big one. So I'm gonna open up notes here and this has to do with autocorrect. So if I'm typing like that's, occasionally it will change the H to a J, just randomly. And that's obviously not even a word. Uh, right now it's working, of course, because it's on camera. But I've had instances where I'll, I'll type that's there, right there. What the hell? I actually got it to do it on camera. See, I'm not crazy. This is ridiculous. Okay, now I just retyped it and it's doing that. So that's not a word. I typed a correct word and it's trying to correct it to something that's wrong. I tweeted about this the other day and no one else actually liked it or retweeted it until today. Some people are starting to realize that this is happening to them too. Some people are claiming that the predictive keyboard is also messed up. I don't use that ever because it's super annoying and takes up too much space. But this, Apple, if you're listening, this is a problem. And, and you can bet your ass I'm gonna be reporting this into the feedback app. This is unacceptable. I hope they know that this is happening. This is not the only word that it happens on, uh, but it is so crazy annoying. I can type out an entire paragraph to someone and hit send, and it will have literally auto-corrected them to the wrong word, to words that don't exist like this. Taking correct words and making them into a typo. What the hell? All right, so enough about that. Uh, if that's been happening to you, leave a comment down below because seriously, that's terrible. Like probably one of the biggest bugs in iOS 14 right now. Okay, so let's talk about battery and performance. Performance on this beta has been superb. Uh, this is the best beta to be on if you care about performance. Uh, everything seems fast. I haven't had many uh, crashes regarding iOS 14, uh, but some apps do crash. For example, if you're in Instagram and you are scrolling through, I don't even know what it's called, uh, when there's auto playing videos and they just you know scroll down to the next one. If you do that for about five minutes and then try to like click X or something or like a video or share it, it will crash. That has happened to me a couple times. Now, I don't typically use that page of Instagram, but performance itself seems very fast, no issues there. And if you are experiencing any weird issues with this beta, please reboot your phone. Just hold down right here and here, wait till it says slide to power off, slide to power it off, and then wait one minute, and then hold this button, turn it back on until you see the Apple logo. That will clear up most of your bugs. Uh, a lot of you guys have been tweeting at me and leaving comments on my other video with bugs. Literally just a reboot after you install the update each time and that should fix most of them. Okay, I'm trying to get through this video as quickly as possible for you guys. So next up, let's talk about battery life. So for my usage here, I actually haven't been having uh, bad battery life at all. Some people have reported uh, bad battery life, but let's check my battery health first, 93%. It has been dropping, but that's just because I'm using the phone more. Scrolling down here, you guys can see last 10 days. Um, I'm getting a decent amount of screen on time. Of course I plug in throughout the day though, so this doesn't mean much. But what I can tell you is this. I've been using this phone the exact same throughout iOS 13 and 14 pretty much. So there's not much change here, but I can tell you that beta three to beta four has seen an improvement in battery life. So my battery life has gone up due to iOS 14 beta four. So uh, if you guys were experiencing bad battery life on beta three, upgrade and this will fix it. But seriously, Consider not upgrading to this one just due to this uh, autocorrect bug because it's pretty bad. And if Apple said, hey, you know, you've got the choice to downgrade, just click this button and it was super easy, 
I would probably do that uh, for this beta just because of this autocorrect issue. Hopefully it'll be fixed in the next beta. We will see. I'm gonna post right now, literally as I'm recording this, I'm gonna go over here to my Mac and I'm gonna hit post on my uh, YouTube community pool. I want you guys to go over there and uh, let me know how this beta has been. So I'm gonna click post right now. And that just posted, so let's refresh. And there it is, two seconds ago, uh, right there. Let me know how this beta has been. Give it an upvote and drop a comment with what device you're on. And let me know and let everyone else know how this beta has been. Honestly, if I had to rate it, I would give it a terrible rating just because of that autocorrect bug. But if we take that out of the equation, I'd say great, no major bugs because the iMessage thing uh, honestly is just a small inconvenience for a beta. Let me know your thoughts with this community poll. Go vote on it and uh, drop a comment on it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Peace.